Greetings, greetings. Another episode of the Weekly Awakening. My name is Tarak Day with Awaken Within. And I wanted to make this video uh, specifically for, uh, more so for like empathic people uh, or people who have trouble uh, receiving energy or being in an emotional state and having a hard time getting out of it or feeling other people's energy and having a hard time transmuting that energy. Uh, or also uh, the second, this, this first technique helps with it, but the second technique I'll share really is, is primarily for that, uh, its primary purpose is, is for helping people who feel drained of energy or don't have enough energy. Um, often it's because your energy reservoirs are empty. And so this, that other, this other technique, um, as well as the very first one, that also helps you transmute energy, will help with building up your energy storehouses, your energy reservoirs. Um, so this first technique is really for uh, helping to transmute energy. You know, when energy is neutral. So when we receive uh, energy from someone else, it depending on upon how they've charged that energy, we will perceive that as good energy or bad energy, you know, feeling their vibes. But when we take it on for ourselves and, and leave out of that environment and still are feeling that energy, then we have taken off for ourselves. So once we do that, once that energy comes into our own and we take it on for ourselves. it is now our energy regardless of where it came from or how we got it it's now our energy so it's your energy to be able to do whatever you want with it and so by transmuting that energy into a different state you know it's charging it take so like say uh say i walk into a room where three people are arguing and i'm sitting in that room for an hour and then i leave very agitated just feeling very agitated about things i have then taken on their energy now, energy is neutral, but they had the energy charged in a certain type of way. So when I took it on with that charge, I began to experience that. Now, I can do one of two things. I can leave that energy, let that energy remain. I can close myself off to where I don't even receive it. I, you know, put an energy shield around myself and block myself from the energy of others. Uh, or I can take that energy on and transmute it into my own and what I want it to be charged with. Now I just have more energy that other people have given me and it's it's not at any detriment to me. It's actually to a benefit to me because I've transmuted it into my own. Now also, when you do have higher energy stores, then when you receive other people's energy, you begin to just, not, your energy will naturally overpower and dominate that, uh, that lesser amount of energy and it will naturally attune to what your energy is. But if you have very low energy reservoirs, then the percentage of, of, of your energy that that new energy is, is going to be a much higher percentage. You know, like, so if I have a, a small cup, a shot glass of water and I drop two drops of blue food coloring into there, then that whole entire shot glass of water is going to turn blue. Now, if I take a gallon of water and I drop those same two drops of uh food coloring into the gallon of water by the time it gets mixed all in you might not even be able to see any tint of blue at all uh, because the amount of water in there and the amount of drops affected is so spread out that and diluted that it then more so takes on the water versus the water taking on the color and the little shot glass the amount of that two drops effect that shot glass is so much greater than the, the gallon of water. So it's the same thing. If your energy reservoirs are completely depleted and you take on an amount of energy from, from your environment or other people within your life or within your experience, it's going to have a much greater effect on you when your energy reservoirs are depleted than when they're stored up. So <laughs> by storing up your energy reservoirs, this will also aid in not even needing to transmute the energy as much as it's necessary when your energy reservoirs are down. So with that, the first technique, what you will be doing is you have hand chakras. You know, we a lot of people are familiar with the seven chakras, if not uh, study them, uh, research them and study them. Those are your seven major chakras within the physical form, uh, transmitting uh, physical energy to non-physical energy, ethereal energy, and non-transferring, transforming non-physical energy into physical energy. And so, but you also have uh, not as big and powerful of transformers, energy transformers, chakras, known as major minor chakras. They aren't minor chakras, but they are a little bit bigger, but they aren't your major chakras. So they're major minor chakras, your hands, 
your feet, uh, your feet, <laughs> your hips, your shoulders. You know, these are uh, major minor chakras. So with your hands, you can just cup your hands like this, having a little space. So like that, but have a little space in between. <sighs> and then breathe in. You know, when you're breathing in, ox you, you are taking in oxygen physically, but the solar energy is charging the oxygen with vitality globules, with prana, with life force energy. And so also along with the physical oxygen, energetically, you're receiving more life force energy. So when you breathe that life force energy in, when you breathe that oxygen in, when you exhale, have it come down to your heart center and then out your arms and into your hands, creating a ball of energy in between your hands right here. Just send that energy between your hands. And now what you're doing is you are activating your hand chakras. You are creating an energy field within your hand chakras and you're activating them. Now, traditionally, I mean, you can receive or give energy of both of these, but traditionally, the right hand chakra is more for giving energy. Left hand chakra is more for receiving energy. So if you ever want to do any uh, healing with yourself, you know, the right is for more for like instilling energy. The left is more for removing energy. But you can use both either way. Um, now, now once after about, it might take you about four or five minutes but you'll feel either a throbbing, pulsating within your hands, or it may feel like a hot sensation or a, or a cold sensation. You know, and one thing that helps is seeing like a ball of energy in your hands or maybe a little flame or a, or a small sun that you're feeding energy into and empow empowering up by pumping energy into it. That can also help. But once you start feeling that sensation, that's how you know that your hand chakras are now open. And so what you're then going to do is use your hands as if you're scooping energy up and scooping energy up and crossing into your shoulders to each each cross shoulder and then you're going to be crossing across your body to your hips and then pushing the energy down through your feet into the earth and grounding yourself in the earth. even if you're like uh two on the second third fourth 84th story you just have further to push down until you get to the earth and ground it into the earth but you're scooping up the energy bringing it into yourself. And even though your hands are on the outside pushing through, your mind is commanding the energy internally to then cross here and shoot down your legs into the earth. And scoot that energy up. And just continue this over and over and over and, and until the energy is transmuted. So if you if you're feeling it and it doesn't even have to be something that you're that you've received outside of yourself, you know, being around somebody and they're very depressed. And then you kind of walk away just feeling down, you know, not as happy and joyful. It doesn't necessarily have to be something like that. It could also be that maybe you are feeling some kind of way and it's your own emotions that you've generated and that you're having to deal with, you know, some grief, some worry, some sadness, some anxiety. You know, some blood flew in my eye. <laughs> it may work for that too. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, whatever that emotion is that you're wanting to transmute into something higher, something more elevated, then you can do this and just. And use the physical form, the postures to guide your mind in commanding and moving the energy. At first, it may just be your imagination. But after a while, you'll begin to feel and perceive the energy movement. And it won't be so much per, uh, imagination. It will be more perception and energy manipulation. And you will you will feel what you're, the effect that you're having, that your mind is commanding with the energy. Because energy moves off of intention. So the imagination alone is all the intention you need to make it happen. So it may take four or five minutes. It may take 10 minutes. But once, once you feel that... Um, that shift in the energy and the way that it feels within you, once you feel that shift, then start shooting it down to the center of the earth. 
So as you push down your hips, feel your energy shooting out your feet into the earth, but now all the way to the center of the earth, to the star at the center of the earth. And then feel yourself pulling. When you're scooping up, feel yourself pulling that energy from the sun and shooting it to the earth, to the center of the earth. So from the outer star to the inner star. And not only will this begin to transmute any energy within you, and autom no matter what level and frequency that energy is, it will elevate. You will also begin to store up more energy. Being more powerful, you will be able to create more, create faster because you'll have more energy at your disposal to create. You'll be more uh, magnanimous, you're more magnetic uh, to the environment. So the things that you're attracting to you will come to you faster. The things that you are when you're connecting with someone, it'll have a greater effect. Just walking into a room, you'll have an even greater presence by doing this. And I suggest doing it every day. Making it a practice, even not necessarily having to wait. Don't, don't just wait for when you need it. Do it. Be proactive and do it every day to where your energy is already lifted up. Your energy is already stored up to where you're never even susceptible in that way to be affected by other people's energy or get into a state of uh, having these emotions really grip you and uh, being at the mercy of them. And so now as far as the energy reservoirs and the other technique I want to share with you, there's a uh, thing called the Dantian. And uh, I believe it comes from, I don't believe that one comes from India, I think it comes from Asia. Um, you know, all the knowledge essentially originally originates from Africa. But in our modern times, that's where the information is stored right now. The source of it is stored right now. And so the Dantian, you have an energy reservoir, like a tank of energy in front of you, like in front of your, uh, like right, uh, the first energy tank is right in front of your navel. The next is right in front of your chest, your heart center. The next is right in front of your head space right here. But these, the, the, once the first one, fill, the lowest one fills up, then it will begin to fill up the middle one. Once that one fills up, then it will begin to fill up the, the top one. So there's no need to worry about the second and third one. You only need to worry about filling up the bottom one. Uh, you actually be at, at a little bit of a detriment if you're if you're trying to store up these top two because you kind of you be out of out of balance. So you don't want to do that. You want to just store up the bottom one and allow that to feed into the others. So one thing that you can do, and you can do this anytime, you can do this while you're talking, you can do this right now while, while you listen to the rest of the video. You can uh, do it before you go to bed. That's a great time to do it. Do it right after you rise. That's another great time to do it. Um, you can do it just when you're watching TV or a movie or listening to some music. You can do it whenever you want because it's just do something you're doing along with breathing. You're already going to be breathing, I hope. Um, and so this is just something you can do along with that. And so what you'll be doing, like I said, you've got, you got uh, major minor chakras in your feet. So you'll be in every inhale, just when you're naturally breathing. I'm going to I'm gonna exaggerate it, but just on your natural breath, you'll be doing this. You don't have to do some sort of special breathing. Just as you're naturally breathing, move the energy to match the breathing. And on the inhale, you're pulling the earth energy up, up through your legs, through your spine, to the crown of your head. And that should be at the apex of your inhale. And then on the exhale, down the front and feeding into that bottom reservoir that Dantian, that bottom reservoir. And then also, if you if, just keep doing that. Every inhale, you're pulling the energy into the crown of your head, and every exhale, you're sending it out down the front into that energy reservoir. Now, if you want to, if you are more advanced, or you want to take it more advanced, or you just want to make it a little more, uh, a little more challenging on yourself, uh, but become more advanced, then you can also at the same time, and ideally what you want to work up to, even if not, what you want to work up to is at the same time, pulling it in through your hands as well as your feet and just. And so when it's coming in through your hands, it'll meet up at your spine right here at the neck. And the energy will all converge. All four energies will converge. You know, the two energies will converge at the spine from your feet. And then the other two energies will converge at the neck. 
And so then all four energies will then converge through the through the head to the crown of the head as it comes down on the exhale into the Dantian. And that you are storing up your energy. And you're just, it's just like a bike pump pumping air into, into a tire. And you're just you're just pumping, pumping, pumping energy in. And I would just do this every single day and uh, see how your energy affects. You know, like I said, like I always say, don't ever believe a single word that I say. Let's say with this video, don't believe anything you just heard, please. Um, but be open to it and create an experiment for yourself. You know, maybe sit there and be like, OK, this, this is what this brother says. I'm going to see if he's lying or if he's telling the truth. I'm going to create an experiment. And after 21 days, after 28 days, I'm going to do this twice a day, every single day, both of these things. And I'm going to journal every single day what I'm kind of feeling that day and what I feel just before I do the exercise and what I feel after, you know, emotionally, energetically, mentally, what's going on. And then I can go back through after 21 days, after 28 days and kind of see if there was any progression, if there was any pattern to the progression. Or is it just all random and scattered and I'm still just the same after 21 or 28 days as I was on day one? And if so, call me out on it. Tell me, hey, brother, you're talking about some bullshit. But if not, then then just take it and run with it. You ain't got to come back and congratulate me on nothing because ultimately it would have been you that's done the work. You know, I don't deserve anything from that. So I just want to offer this to you so that you can take that and run with it because um, as an empath myself, these are kind of some things that I kind of naturally understand. But I also it's taken a while for me to really understand how to teach how I transmute energy because it's something that I've just been born with and naturally understood and never really consciously understood. And so that's one thing that I've always seen other people, other empaths, you know, they just rely. They just, you know, resort to giving up and just, you know what, I just need to learn how to shield myself off from other people. And then you just destroy your whole power because your power to be able to tap in and see what someone else is feeling in order to engage and facilitate their healing is a power. It's a gift. But the problem is when you then take on their emotion for yourself and now you have to do your own healing on top of your own shit that you're dealing with. Now you got somebody else's. So I can under, I can totally understand that. But I also don't want, you know, understand that it's you have that gift and ability for a reason and to and to just block yourself off from it is is a disservice to yourself and to those around you in, in your life that you have the ability to aid and assist them in healing themselves. So, um, so from that, that's the purpose that I have in wanting to share this with you. You know, if you like it, great. If you don't, that's fine too. I don't mind, you know, I'm not sharing it. I'm not sharing this for, for recognition or likes or anything. Uh, although that only helps to help spread things out further. But uh, I just hope you've benefited from this. And I hope, you know, 21, 28 days from now, you've implemented it into your life. And it's and it really has benefited you, not just conceptually or intellectually, but uh, physically, energetically. You know, you it's really instilled and instigated a change within your life that you can then take forward for the rest of your life. So with that, as always, I leave y'all in peace.